like to comment on the uh, study of the effect of bardoxol and methyl <coughs> on renal function in patients with chronic kidney disease and diabetes that was presented today at the ASN here in Denver. Uh, the study was the first randomized controlled trial uh, with bardoxol or methyl, with, which is an antioxidant and inflammatory modulator that works specifically on NRF2. NRF2 counters the effects of nf kappa B and decreases uh, reactive oxygen species inflammation and oxidation. Um, the study consisted of a randomized controlled trial that was 52 week duration. Uh, with a four-week uh, follow-up period when the patients were off drug. The uh, study enrolled 227 patients with diabetes, approximately 18 years duration, um, and um, was well balanced across all uh, ethnic and racial um, uh, groups. The patients were on standard of care uh, therapy, 98% of them, importantly, were ACE inheritors or ARBs. 80, uh, over 80% of them were receiving um, uh, statins and had an average systolic blood pressure of 130 with an entry hemoglobin A1C of 7.2. So again, important to emphasize that patients were receiving standard care before randomization. Um, the um, uh, Serum uh, estimated GFR at study entry was 32 mLs per minute, with uh, about 40% of the patients being stage 4 CKD, um, and about 34% of the patients with macroalbuminuria. The primary endpoint of the study was presented today, which is the change in estimated GFR at 24 weeks compared to placebo. The uh, data was, co was collected all through 52 weeks. That data will be available for analysis at the end of this year, uh, early next year. Um, the important finding is that patients treated with bardoxolone had a early increase in GFR that was manifested as uh, early as four weeks. It continued increasing through week 12 and was sustained through week 24 with an average increase in GFR of 10.1 mLs per minute as an aggregate of all groups compared to 0 .0, uh, ml per minute change, 0 0.1 ml per minute change in the placebo group, essentially no change. So this clinically significant effect um, was uh, uh, maintained in patients in stage 4 CKD and those patients with macroalbuminuria. Patients with stage 4 CKD had an increase in GFR of 8 milliliters per minute, and patients with albumin to gram ratios more than 300 milligrams per gram had an increase of 5.4 milliliters per minute, compared to a decline of 1.9 milliliters per minute in the patients in the placebo group, also with macroalbuminuria. So the treatment proved to be effective in those patients with advanced disease more likely to progress. Um, we looked at other measures of kidney function that correlated with the increase in GFR. Notably, we saw decreases in BON, serum phosphorus, and uric acid, suggesting that, again, this uh, is an effect on kidney function. Uh, we tried to put these uh, studies in clinical perspective and looked at the number of patients that had an improvement in their CKD stage, and uh, the results showed that no significant change in the number of patients in the placebo group that had uh, changes in their CKD stage, but a significant um, number of patients, 59% of patients on Bardoxolone, that had uh, a, an improved stage or one or more stages. Uh, similarly, we had no change in the number of patients in CKD4 in the placebo group and a 50% reduction in the number of CKD4 patients in the Bardoxol and treated group. On adverse events, the, uh, of those that were reported in more than 10% of the patients, uh, the most prominent ones, the ones that appear to be uh, drug-related, are muscle spasms, 
nausea, hypomagnesemia, and decreased appetite, all mild to moderate in nature. Importantly, there were no safety signals with similar SAU uh, rates across all groups, including placebo. And so in conclusion, our study met its uh, primary endpoint of a change, an increase in GFR in Bardoxol and treated groups at week 24 compared to placebo of average of 10.1 uh, uh, mLs per minute. Bardoxol was generally well tolerated, as I said, no significant safety signals, with a maximal dose at 75 milligrams. Uh, a max maximum effect is 75 milligrams of uh, Bardoxol. Um, future directions are to complete the data analysis of the 52-week um, data that will be again collected by the end of this year and analyzed early next year. We believe that the results of this um, placebo control 2B trial warrant the initiation of a phase 3 trial that will hopefully be started um, later this w next winter or early spring. Um, the um, phase 3 study will be a, um, um, an event-driven trial, outcome trial, that uh, will recruit approximately 1,500 patients, randomized one-to-one -to, -one to bardoxolone or placebo. It's planned for two years with um, an endpoint of a 50%, a composite of a 50% reduction in GFR renal replacement therapy or death.